Shalom, Chavarim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, breaking news, uh, and this is alleged. I have to tell you right off, uh, right off the bat here, not able to prove it as of yet. Fabrice uh, Poitier has tweeted, D.C. source say that Trump administration has an executive order ready to lift Russia sanctions. Uh, to talk to Merkel, uh, the President of the United States would be talking uh, to Merkel and then Putin on Saturday. Uh, one of the uh, guys that also, uh, Lucien Kim right here, uh, that asked to follow in this story, he's an uh, NPR correspondent, he noted on his uh, Twitter account, Putin lifts sanctions, Trump, duh, duh, Merkel, nine, Holland, whatever, what gives when, gives when Trump talks to all three leaders tomorrow? Uh, that'll be happening on Saturday. We know he's talking to President Putin. And I personally, for one, think the lifting of the sanction is the only correct thing that should be done. I know that a lot of uh, European uh, leaders and a lot of people that have been really dumbed down through propaganda of the media that has incited uh, or indicted Russia as being the aggressor against Ukraine has been completely out of line from day one. Uh, it is something that was done by the Obama administration to destabilize this country and topple uh, uh, Petro, uh, excuse me, uh, President Yukonovich, who was the real president of Ukraine at the time, uh, it was done by CIA operatives alleged by Russia, and of course, it just spiraled out of control ever since. Russia did step in to rescue uh, President Yukonovich from being murdered by the uh, by the breakaway, uh, whatever you want to call them, the thugs of the country that were overthrowing the the nation. Um, very interesting documentary that Russia puts out, Crimea, The Way Home, because also Russia uh, gets involved. Some say it was annexed, some says it was overtaken, some says it's an occupied territory. Russia says it was a referendum and the people have voted overwhelmingly. Uh, I think it was 92% of the people actually voted and they voted overwhelmingly to go back to Russia, which I can understand as well. Again, historically, Crimea has always been a part of Russia for nearly 200 years. It wasn't until under the Soviet Union that Crimea was allowed to be governed by Ukraine itself. And this is where that change began. Uh, so <clears throat> it is a, the, a large majority of the population of Crimea are Russians and Russian descent, Russian speaking people, etc. And we already know from the horrors of the uh, war that, that, that broke out between or through the unrest that happened inside of Ukraine. It was uh, Ukraines against the Russian, ethnic Russians that were living in the country that are Ukrainian citizens as well. Uh, it really became a major bloodbath. Uh, so <clears throat> Russia did step in, and as a result, the entire European Union has turned around and said Russia is an aggressor. It was never Russia that started the, uh, the, the, the revolt inside the country of Ukraine to begin with, and that's what really has troubled me from day one about this. But nonetheless, sanctions were put on Russia, and, and I don't say that Putin is some great saint and knight and anything of this nature to begin with. Uh, but clearly it was out of line by the Obama administration to spearhead this and then to get all of Europe in behind him to do it. And I think this is one of the major issues right now uh, that is confronting the European leaders today. If they suddenly change their opinion about sanctions, then they would have to admit that they were wrong for following the Obama administration from the beginning. Uh, speaking of that as well, let me share with you another interesting story that has just came out a few minutes ago on Business Insider. And now they are accusing uh, one of Trump's uh, aides uh, or advisors uh, in a stake of getting 17% of a state-run oil company inside of Russia in exchange for lifting the sanctions. Uh, and of course, this has been, uh, people have been sending this. I saw one tweet going straight to John McCain. Could you please investigate to see if this is true? Anyway, this is what the story alleges. CEO of Russia State Oil Company offered Trump advisor allies a cut of huge deal if sanctions were lifted. Uh, Deutscher was uh, unverified claims. Let me, let me just enlarge this a little bit here. Uh, but anyway, he says here, uh, a Deutscher with unverified claims about President Donald Trump's ties to Russia contained allegations that Igor Sechin, the CEO of, uh, of Russia's state oil company, offered former Trump ally Carter Page and his associates the brokerage of 19% stake in the company in exchange for lifting of U.S. sanctions on Russia. 
Mr. Dozier says the offer was made in July when Page was in Moscow giving a speech at the Higher Economic School. The claim was sourced to a trusted uh, compatriot and a close associate of Sechin, according to the Dozier's author, former British spy Christopher Steele. Now, whether or not this ends up proving out to be so or not, I do not know. But regardless of the situation, I personally believe from the very beginning uh, that the sanctions that was placed on Russia over Ukraine from the beginning was completely out of line. And that's my take. And I know that's not a very popular take to be having on this uh, subject right now. And uh, again, Frederick, uh, Fra Fra Fabrice Potier has stated, if confirmed, uh, excuse me, wrong, wrong tweet there by Fabrice. I apologize for that. Um, We've had some other ones that have popped up since then. But anyway, uh, here we go right here. DC source says that Trump administration has an executive order ready to lift Russian sanction uh, at, of course, President of the United States, Pot US, to talk to Merkel and then Putin on Saturday. It's been uh, 2,132 uh, retweets, and there is a ton of people uh, inflamed over, uh, over uh, this if it were to happen, especially at Trump. And of course, this article that just came out here by the Business Insider is only going to uh, fuel more animosity towards Trump and Russia uh, if it does happen. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast. Erev Tov.